Hi, it's Hannah. Welcome back to Zambia and our wonderful community of Tavolia. Um, come walk with me as we pray and walk and talk about the things that God is doing here and how you can be praying and be involved in the ministry here in Zambia. So let's get walking. It's the school right behind me. Um, this is a school that we partner with called Mapalo Trust School. Um, and we are just so blessed by the school and the teachers and the students here. Um, so this school was started by the three main teachers here, Patricia, Regina, and Shelly. And they actually left their, their jobs before this because they, they saw a need in their community um, to fill that need and to start a community school here in Jabolia. And so they started their own school. They worked out of nothing, basically. They worked out of a home for a bit. And now they have this beautiful building behind me um, with lots of students in it. So pray with me from Apollo School. Um, pray, for me, pray with me for the kids here that they would know and feel Jesus in their hearts and feel his presence in this place. Um, pray for, for them as the next generation of Zambians, um, that they would, would have a heart to, to see change in their community um, and change in their country. Pray also for the teachers here, that, you would, that God would give them wisdom and knowledge and understanding of how to become the best teachers that they can be. Um, and how to raise up students who are not only smart with knowledge, um, but are also smart in, in personality and, and how they walk in their faith um, and, and who they are as kids and as children of, of God. Um, so pray for Mapalo School. Um, let's keep walking. So the first stop on our walking prayer, um, prayer tour here of Chivolia is this building. Um, so we felt and we felt that God was calling us um, in faith to, to look for a community center. Right now we do a lot of our ministry things um, in our homes. So we do all of our Bible studies, our youth group, um, lots of our meetings are just held in, uh, in our house, which is great, but it, um, it limits us to the amount of people we can work with. Um, so we felt God was leading us towards um, a building for a community center. Um, and so this is kind of the building we've had our eye on. Um, so, and it's a, it's a total God's redemption story of um, this building used to be a bar um, for many, many years and lots of people would come and drink and there's a lot of alcoholism and prostitution in our community um, and so the last thing we need here is a bar um, and so it had been closed multiple times and tried to be reopened as a bar and then the people before us um, we're going to open up a nightclub here so it has just been um, a lot of, of Satan working here and now we get to use this building or in the process of getting this building to use as a community center and um, so we are currently in the in the stages of finalizing paperwork and making payments um, to buy this building as a community center um, so pray with us in that pray for the finalization of all of this paperwork and things to be done and and pray that this place would be um, filled with the presence of God and the Holy Spirit and of Jesus, that anyone who walks through this gate or walks through these doors would automatically feel the presence of Jesus. Um, we are just so excited to see this building and this space be turned from, from one of darkness and helplessness um, to one of light and hope and glory of God. Um, so pray with us, pray that people would come, um, that we would build new relationships and have new gospel interactions with people and to be able to hear the gospel and hear about Jesus here. And we just pray that this would be a spot um, of, of welcoming, um, of embracing new people and new relationships and a place um, that is filled with peace. So just pray for this building, pray for the process of everything here, and um, that it would all go well and smoothly. And yeah, let's continue on. So our next stop here is at my friend Angela's shop. This is her business where she sells lots of things. Um, and so I would love for you to just pray for women like Angela, um, women in our business empowerment program where we teach them business skills and about Jesus. Um, and they get to just grow and expand their businesses and their faiths in Jesus. Um, so just be praying for people and women like Angela in our program. Pray that their businesses would expand and grow um, and that they would use the knowledge that they're learning for their business. Um, pray for their homes, pray for their children and their husbands and their families, um, that they would be families that glorify God and that are just raised in a way um, to follow Jesus. Um, we pray for, for their faith, um, that they would grow in faith and learn more about Jesus and who he is and who they're called to be in Jesus. 
Um, and yeah, we just pray for blessings over their business that they can use um, their profits and their sales to feed their families and to support themselves, send their kids to school. Um, we just pray for all these things. So pray for Angela and all of the other women in our program and all of the women in our community and their businesses. So our next stop here is back at my house. Um, this is where we do our Bible studies um, and our youth group. Um, so we have a group of about five to ten kids that come every week and we play games, we eat muffins, we sing worship songs, and then we do a Bible study together. Sometimes it's doing a video series with them or just diving into scripture. Um, it's a lot of variety of things. We've done um, spiritual gifts tests. So we've done uh, creation, we just finished a creation series, um, stewardship, lots of different things um, that the kids get to decide what we talk about and what they're excited to learn about. Um, so now I'd love for you to pray for these kids, pray for our youth group and our Bible study that um, they would all come to know Jesus in a real intimate and personal way. Um, I have a picture of some of them from our Christmas party this last, this last December. So pray that they would know Jesus and encounter Jesus. Um, pray that they would have a community um, surrounding them that love them and care for them. Pray for their home lives, for their families, um, and pray that this, this Bible study would be an encouragement to them, that they would build friendships um, that push each other towards Jesus and to be more Christ-like. Um, so pray for our youth, pray for me, and um, how best to lead these kids. Um, and that we can just continue learning more about Jesus and, and having gospel interactions with these kids and with new kids that come. Um, hopefully with our community center, we'll have even more kids that are able to come. So pray for our youth. And that finishes our prayer walk through our, my community of Chibolia, Zambia. Thank you for walking with me, for praying with me with this, for this community in Zambia. Um, I just pray many blessings over you as you walk and you learn about Gokor and you learn um, more about other communities. Um, and we just, I just thank you from the bottom of my heart for walking, for praying, and for listening about our community. Um, so thank you and keep walking. <laughs>